Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm gonna be showing my custom Ghostface figure, the complete version. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and go through the accessories that it comes with and show you what it looks like with the alternate mask. Okay, so here are the mask the mask this guy comes with. I have a classic version, a zombie version, and a K and B version. It's K and B hood I made differently than the other hoods. So there are those. And here are his other accessories. I gave him f um I apologize for any background noise you might hear, but um gave him the knife, of course. Wow, that's really loud. But um He's got the knife. You can see the shine from the blood on the knife. So yes, yeah, shiny blood. I didn't have little black lines on this part and this part, but they rubbed off for some reason. But this knife was hand sculpted. You know, it's two parts. The blade, it's a different part from the handle. Might need to do a touch up of paint right there, but so yeah. And then once they harden, I glued them both together and started painting them. Here's the phone I made for them. The antenna was a separate part, and the voice changer. He can't really hold this in his hand, but you can put it inside of the chins of these two masks. But then you can't see it, so yeah. And the face on this figure isn't any particular killer it's just the figure's original face so I didn't do any sculpting to the actual figure the only work I did to this figure was some dirt on the boots paint the hands black and glued the um, sleeves down to the wrist so yeah I guess I'll show what this guy looks like with each mask starting with the original KB and zombie Okay, so here he is with the classic mask and the knife. Now, like I said in my other video, this robe is all hand sewn. And the mask, the hood was hand sewn to that. So, it was all sewn with thread and needle on this thing. But there he is with the classic mask and with the knife. Um, this is a 7 inch figure, if you couldn't already tell. So, there's that. Now let's go on to the K and B mask. All right, here he is with the K and B mask and cell phone. Um, I probably will not display him with the K and B mask. I'll probably display him with the classic mask. But um, the K and B one is a hard one to get on because I made the hood a different way. I made a hood like how it showed in the mask cutting scene in Principal Henry's office. Which the hood is all just one piece sewn on there, and it's really big and hard to get on there. So, I got in there with the cell phone in his hand. He actually holds it pretty well. And, um, there's the mask on him. I actually like my little KB mask better than my, um, other KB mask that I made right there. Just looks more accurate. But here you can see the difference between the classic and the K&B mask. And if you don't know what the K&B mask is, when they were originally shooting the first screen movie, they couldn't afford the price to use the Fun World mask in the movie. So they called up K&B effects and had them make a mask for him to use in the movie, which looked like this. And after shooting most of the movie, Wes Craven, the, the director, decided he didn't like it. And called Fun World backed up and got the mask and reshot a bunch of scenes, but in some scenes you still saw this mask in the movie. And there's the cell phone. So yeah, now it's time to see him with the zombie mask. And here he is with the zombie mask on. Um the zombie mask is actually one of my favorite ones that I did because it has the most detail in it. Um I did a w classic mask 
drew the scars on there that it had, then paint washed brown and black on there, and it gave it, made it look just like the actual zombie mask. Except for the shape. The shape on the zombie mask was a little bit different, but still pretty close. And the weapon I have for this guy is a sickle that I made for a figure I plan on doing. I plan on doing a Leslie Vernon figure, and he used a sickle like this. And if I don't do him, I'll probably give a sickle to this guy because don't didn't look pretty cool like this, the zombie ask with the sickle but um anyways that's the weapon Leslie Vernon used and I'll probably do a figure of him but if I don't he's gonna have it even though Ghostface didn't use one he still looks really cool with it so there's that alright like I said before I'm probably gonna display him with the classic mask and if I don't display him with a classic mask I'll probably be with the zombie one because I already have a NECA ghost face figure with the classic mask on, so I'm going to see if I can pick up the NECA one with the um, zombie mask, but um, the NECA, I th like I said in my other video, I think NECA should have done a full out claw fabric um, robe instead of a half sculpted half fabric one. But anyways, here's my um, figure. I like mine a bit better than the NECA one. Not only because of the robe, but also it's got removable mask, which I know that's probably hard to do for some of these companies with what they have. Yeah, but, um, hey, this is my figure, so I get to do whatever I want with it. So, yeah. See ya.